Hi everybody, it's Gregory here from Wapcar and today we are taking a look at the Ada Suite offered on the range topping Isuzu D-MAX X-Terrain. For those of you who are still a little bit unsure as to what ADAS is all about, it's essentially umbrella tech that uses radar sensors and cameras to pick up opticals, driver errors, whatever it is, you name it, runs it through vision-based algorithms, and then reacts accordingly, either by braking and or steering the car. Now, if autonomous driving comes to mind, you're not exactly wrong because ADAS runs with that concept depending on the features installed. So the car can basically alert you or make adjustments if necessary. Driving, speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. The car in front, I'm not paying attention and... Oh! It's like having a tiny co-driver right beside you or rather in the car, correcting your mistakes from time to time. Yes, it can get a bit annoying at first, but trust me on this. Once you get used to it, you can't live without it. In any case, let's see what Isuzu has to offer. Now, before we jump into the whole ADAS demonstration, let me walk you through a few changes on the updated D-MAX. Number one, blue is no more. We now get black and white and orange. Next, we get a 360-degree camera. There's also illuminated side sills. We get puddle lights and there's also a Qi wireless charger. In three, two, one, go! See? Very good driver, very safe driver, okay? Alright? So right now, we are taking a look at the forward collision warning system that uses a camera to pick up on obstacles ahead. It warns you if you're about to collide with an obstacle in front by sounding an alert to get you to wake up. If you're not responding, the autonomous emergency braking system kicks in and brings the car to a halt. Here we have a situation where we've got the entire right side of the truck with no traction at all, right? So to get us out, we just have to put this into low range mode which cuts out the traction control, make sure the rear differential is locked up and off we go! Problem solved. Now, this isn't an ADAS feature but hey, just let me live out my off-running fantasies for a bit, okay? Next, we have adaptive cruise control with stop-go function. This system maintains a set speed and distance between your car and the car ahead. Very useful for rush hour crawls, this one. With the stop-go function, you can come to a standstill for a short while and then take off again. But guys, please, please pay attention despite all this assistance, yeah? It's no excuse to mess with your phone. Then, we've got the lane departure warning system. This one will call you out should it detect you're about to switch lanes without indicating. So, always indicate. Don't confuse this for lane centering assist though, it won't help sway you back into your lane, alright? Why? Because the D-MAX uses a hydraulic steering setup, not electric. Now, we're taking a look at the rear cross-traffic alert system. This one works in conjunction with the blind spot monitoring system and its sensors to stop you from reversing out into oncoming traffic. It does this by giving a warning and if you don't respond, boom, jams the brakes. Also new is a 360 degree surround view camera system that would really, really help when it comes to parking this big boy. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a look into the ADA suite on board the Isuzu D-MAX X-Terrain. Now, I will admit, there was a time when I felt that these kind of assistants were a little bit too much, you know, from the whole mentality, if you need computers to help you drive a car, you shouldn't be driving. But this has legit saved my skin in an actual real-life scenario. Yep, I was saved by a forward collision warning system prior to this. We're all humans. We all make mistakes. So, if it's there, use it, okay? You are correct, sir! And that's why I really applaud brands like Isuzu for highlighting the importance of having ADAS on a car. I mean, it really doesn't matter if it's a car, or a hatch, or a pickup. Truth be told, these days, we are seeing pickup trucks more and more on the roads, right? It's not because people who buy them work in construction or want to venture out into the wilderness. It's becoming a lifestyle vehicle, it's becoming a statement, call it whatever you want. But you can't deny that more and more families are jumping out of a pickup truck, right? So why shouldn't pickup trucks come with ADAS instead, right? I mean, this is useful. Like I said, every day we see more and more pickups on the road and if it's becoming used as a daily driver, there should be a prevalence of all these features on board. So much so that I bet some of you have been saved by an ADAS feature. Have you? If you have, let me know in the comments below. And on that note, I think it's time we call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Till the next one, drive safe everybody.